Hey guys, welcome to a new video, where today I'll be showing you the simple basics of the server known as Skyblock Isles, and how to make money and earn levels early game. If you want to see more videos like this and want to support the channel, please subscribe and leave a comment below, because your support is greatly appreciated. After completing the tutorial island, you should be warped to Wharfmallow Dock. This is where your first quest starts. Grandpa should be waiting at the dock. Talk to him to progress. After this, head over to the park, which is left a wharf mullow. Oh, and also, you can select the quest that you want to do when in the quest tab. Click on a certain quest to pin where you want to go and it will act as a waypoint. Once at the park, find the campsite. This is where Grandpa and two others will be. Talk to the Grandpa again. Basically what he tells you is that he'll give you a free star set which you can collect from Morgana and boom, you're by then 90% of the people who play this game. Another thing you unlock is adventures which you should do as they help you get a good understanding of the game. Once completing an adventure you receive a key. This key can be used on a chest at Wharf Mullow Dock and you can get some interesting loot. When you click on the equipment tab, and then the gold sword in the top corner, you can change the combat you want to level up, such as defense, attack, and strength. Another useful thing to know is that there is a general store, where you can buy and sell whatever you want. If you looked at the map back at the dock, you can see there is lots to explore. The first place you should go after completing your adventure is the Dwarven Mines. Be careful of robbers that spawn on the road, because they could probably one-shot you. At the Dwarven Mine you can smelt many ores which can be used to make armour and tools at the smithing table. Note that you'll need a hammer to use the smithing table. Inside the mines you can find copper, coal, iron, and at the surface there is some tin. After you do some collecting of resources and upgrades, you should focus your blade on the wolf mellow people. It's okay, they don't have feelings. You should do this to get wolf mellow key loop or stem drops which can either be used to make a key or be sold at the plaza for lots of money. As you can see in this clip, I just gained 13k from a single key loop. Now here is where more of the adventure act comes into play. Once you get 5k or more, you can buy a mount, but you'll have to do a quest first. Go to the stable and talk to Anora, where the quest can be started. Get a chisel and some medicine from the top floor of the infirmary. The medicine costs 5k, that's why it costs 5k to buy it. Give the medicine to the racehorse, after this you have to complete a race on a mule, which you will get for free at the end. After getting the mule, follow the path which I took from the stable to get to the Forsaken Mines, which is behind the ice biome, or look at the map which is back at the docks. When you get there, you can get Rondonite Ore, Mithril Ore and Silver Ore. Rondonite and Mithril can be used for armor and tools, whereas Silver can be used for jewelry. Another thing you can do whilst there is get your alchemy level up by starting the wizard quest. He is found in the tower behind the hill that the Forsaken Mines is in. The quest leads you to an essence mine where you can get some good mage gear. Thank you for watching, if you would like to see more of this, like the video and leave some suggestions of what you want to see in future videos. Bye!